near the blind. You gonna try to split it? Ooh. You gonna try there to shoot go. my arrows? No. Not bad. Close. Close. <laughs> Which release you want? Mm. Knock to it. Uh, the Ultra View, the Scott. Let me use this one. Oh. Let's see what happens. Bro, you can't even see that target. I can see it good enough. All right. Oh, yeah. If you stand right behind me, we got two oak trees. Ooh. The oak trees are covering the black on. That's a 50 yard field target? 60 yard field target. 60. So. That's a very narrow gap. I'm going to just kind of guess the yardage. Send it. Let's see what yardage you got here. Okay. All right. I got this. Oh, it's not missing an arrow. <laughs> Doof. Let's go check that. Yeah. Pretty sure. What yardage did you guess? Uh, split. Uh, split the 20 and, or yeah, you got a 20 and 35. So I split it. I, I hit center. You hit center? Yeah, I hit a limb. But nice. I'm also guessing with an arrow that's not sided in for your buddy. Oh, it's only 40 yard off. Or, sorry, 40 grains off? 40 grains that's true. Oof! I didn't hit that. I thought I did. That's still good. Look at that angle it came in. Because you were shooting through the bush and bushes. So, I just jumped between that tree and this tree. So, that was 100. Bro, you on X Games mode. That's, <laughs> That's a dead dude. This is like a tack range here. We're gonna make a tack range. You think right? Our field range is almost a tack range. Hey. He's goofy. All right. We're gonna see how this does. So we're shooting long range with a 540 grain, what most people call a heavy arrow. We're shooting a heavy arrow at long range. Indirect sunlight, so. That might throw me off a little bit. We'll see. Sounded good. You hit cardboard. We got a little bit of a breeze today too. That looks good. I was just rushing. <laughs> Embarrass myself a little bit.
Bro, you might have put some in the center. I did. I know you did. I got an idea. I'm gonna try to shoot my Evo at 100 yard. All right, I'm done. I'm gonna order some arrows anyways today, so if I screw them up, that's, you know. I gotta pull something in my damn. Oof. So to be honest with you, I'm not even sure if I'll even hit the target because these are new arrows and I just set up the sight tape for it. And um, it's a hundred yard. I'm gonna shoot four arrows and see what kind of group I can get. Um, I did have six arrows, but somebody broke two of them and uh, I'm Oops. not gonna see who. I broke one. Yeah. So right just now, one. right now I'm shooting that. The, uh, what we got? We got Houston Axis five millimeter arrows. They're a lot heavier than what it was. Houston Axis. How much weight you got in the front? Uh, Using uh, the hidden uh, insert, which has not there proved. Yeah, they're seventy five grain and then one twenty five grain. Okay, so so far. Yeah, I'm going to do so away far. With that, with the half outs. It has not proved to be too good with the hidden insert. Yeah, I, I don't like that. Not I a fan know. of it. Uh, my Black Eagles shooting half out. I've hit. I've gone through targets and hit stumps, trees, roots, whatever. I have not broke any. And we just messed one up. I was but, shooting but his guess, bow, not yeah. sighted in to me. Uh, I shoot a little bit different than him, and uh, I just cracked one of his arrows because it smacked a 4x4 four at 100 <laughs> yards. So. <laughs> she buried yeah. up in there, though. It did. It was my fault, but, you know. That's fine. We're going to see what happens. Here's the target all the way all the way down there so and we're shooting uphill yes so right. we're gonna see how this goes wait a minute i'm gonna do something i'm gonna shoot with my red pen okay give you more clearance Maybe i have more clearance yeah right. we are shooting a spot hog fast eddy so one good thing about it is Instead of my side, I only have one marker for yardage. He has two and two pins. They so, give some more clearance, way more clearance. So you can actually gap your pins. If you roughly know where you're at, you can gap your pins. That is probably more ideal for a hunting site than anything, because that is, that's convenient. shot yep i don't know where that went it hit that arrow is one of the bad ones yeah we uh <clears throat> by one of the bad ones we've oh. busted a couple today Looks like I'm shooting really far to the left. I was shooting really far to the left with it, so. Yeah, I need to, since I did paper tune it. Yeah, we to... might be shooting the same with it now. Yep. I want to aim off just a little bit. Yeah, it's shooting hard to the left. Yep. That's fine. I just got to sight it in. It's not sighted in. Let's go check that. Yeah. So this is a real life scenario here. Where we're, we're literally just setting the bows up. I got a change and, of sight tape. So yeah. I'm hitting way high. And see, I just paper tuned my bow, so I'm shooting super left now. But that's fine. I'll go back to 60 and fix it. Oof. Is that the road sort of down? Oh God. Oh yeah, she busting. She's busting, bro. She's stuck in there. 100 yard. Well, let's show a difference. <laughs> Hold on. Here's 500 grains after the PSC. Here's 540 grains out of the Matthews. Both of them 70 pound bows, ain't they? Yep. So this one, you're probably 14 inches out. This one. <laughs> you're like eight inches out. Maybe six. Uh, that's what she said. Got that Westminster fucking eight there. 
Damn it, boy. So. We shot like shit today. Not really our boat. Well, no, I just got to change my sight tape. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta move my sight more. Yep. We'll go shoot I'm at sixty and a little bit high. Side of me in. Okay. So I uh, don't know where my sight tapes are. I need a faster sight tape because I'm shooting. Uh, go check what number sight tape I'm shooting. Should be right at the bottom. 12. 12. Okay, yeah. Shoot the number 12 sight tape with 540 grains at 100 yards, and I'm shooting high. So I'm sighted in at 40. So what we're going to do, since I cannot find my sight tapes, and I need a fast one, I'm going to throw an extra 25 grains on my arrows. Bring her down some. And see if it drops it enough at 100 to uh, bring it in spec, or to bring it into where my side tape shoot. So how many total grains is that now, So Aaron. I was shooting 540, so that'd be 565 grains now. Jesus. And I'm at 100 yards with a number 12 side tape on the Matthews V3, so. I mean, yeah, the weight on the front of these is ridiculous. I can feel it. So, we do have some wind, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot in the wind because I'm shooting micro diameter arrows, high front and center. Really, the wind shouldn't. Wind will move it some, but shouldn't manipulate it. That much? Too much. What I've got, I'm punching through everything. Oh, that looked good. It looked like he was a little bit to the right, but you might have been in the that center. Was a little right. Okay. Yeah. I've got. But your elevation looked good. I have a horrible glare. He had a little bit of a lamb up there, but it looked good. Yeah, yeah I gotta get the pole saw. Got some. I think so. I pulled one way left. I'm shooting a little bit more to the right now. Which could be me. I don't know. Dude, that one was in the black, I'm pretty sure. Bro, that's a good group. I mean, not a bad group. All right. So, this is the NFAA. It's a field round target, whatever. Yeah, 65, whatever. All of them was in the white. I did stack two. I called that one. I, I heard it slap. I am kind of floating. It is direct sunlight, and my pin. And you're shooting uphill. I'm shooting five fixed pins also. No magnification or anything. And my pin looks like it's about this big. Like just glowing looking right here. So not bad. I mean that's one in the black for an 80 yard shot. This is a 80 yard. If you shoot a field round, this is a yeah, 80 yard target. You know. I've shot competitions where people couldn't hold that at 80 yards, so I'm not I'm not complaining with that. The 125 grain points really work. But so if you want to know a realistic speed on your Matthews, 565 grains, 
29 inch draw length, 70 pounds. Matthews V331, a number 12 CBE sight tape, 100 yards. Dang! You dead center. So, realistic speeds. You're still fast. Definitely. And you guys are watching the Palmetto Outdoor Experience. Make and, sure. And let's just show this. Show deep. Here's your bales. I slid on that. Mm. I mean, you're still over there. half the arrow of penetration at 100 yards. If you, this is uh, 20, I think 27 and a half inch carbon to carbon. Oof. I think that's, I think that's what it is. I might be wrong, but there's your idea. That's 100 yard penetration. That's what she said. And make sure you guys like and subscribe. Have a good day. God bless. All right, guys. So I didn't want to end the video off bad on the Evo. Um, I will say I just, I had paper tuned the Evo that day and I hadn't set my sights. So this right here is 70 yards. I took two shots, a little bit high, but I am shooting a five spot at, at a 75 yards. So we're good now. I'm just a little bit this way, but I can just put one click that way and we're good. So like I said, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you guys. And um, I'll have the Evo out to 100 yards soon. Like I said, I just I changed up arrows, and um, I didn't paper tune the bow before I took them shots. So y'all have a good day. God bless.